Hi Queens, I'm in the Bondi studio today, so exciting, it's Soph, and I'm going to be reacting to some trending tanning TikToks. I'm low-key a bit nervous to see what Bondi picked out, I'm going to get my raw reaction, I'm super excited. Okay, first one, I'm seeing a hand, I'm scared, but I will admit I'm not the best at tanning my hands, so we might be learning something new here. Let's see what this secret is. I'm excited. Lotion is the key. A brush. Okay, we love that. Innovative. Knuckles are always the hardest. My knuckles always look bad. Okay, cute. I'm gonna have to add this to my routine because I don't do this. I'm pretty lazy with my tan. I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> oh, that looks so good. Okay, we're gonna try out the hack of the hand tan. I'm really excited because if this works, it's gonna be my go-to. Got the Bondi Sands Body Moisturizer here. It's coconut scent, my favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead, put a little bit on each of my hands and let it sit like it did in the hack. I'm really excited. So no need to wreck one of your makeup brushes. Just go in with the Bondi Sands Body Brush. This is amazing. It's so soft, it literally feels like a massage. So for my hands, usually if I'm using a mitt, which we're not gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing the hack, I would just use like the residue tan, but we're just gonna do a tiny bit of tan on this brush and try out this hack. I'm super excited. Okay, just gonna go in. I'm using my non-dominant hand here, so forgive me, but just gonna go in and start buffing. It's already looking amazing. This brush gives such like an airbrushed, flawless look. And I don't go into my palms, I just do my wrist. But this is working really well. Just gonna keep buffing and not focus too much on the knuckles because that's where it can go a bit funky looking. Applying the moisturizer, which we did before, is making it super easy for the tan to just glide on. And also make sure there's no like dry patches because that's where tan can go really weird is when you've got certain dry patches. So I think that's really helping, but it's looking amazing and like super not patchy or streaky at all. This brush really does work wonders. Okay, I'm super impressed with that hack. I'm definitely gonna be using this in the future. I actually did this hand with a mitt and this hand with a brush. Um, Really impressed with how this one looks. It's super cute and even, which we love. It's really hard to get hands even. It's literally the hardest part to tan. It's always super stressful, but it's looking amazing and super flawless thanks to this little handy brush, which I love. Okay, next one. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. That is so smart. I was literally tanning the other day and the one time my mom wasn't there and I was like, how do I do my back? Oh, I almost had a mental breakdown. Oh my God, that's so smart. Okay, we're gonna try this crazy back hack. I'm keen to see if it works. Got my spatula, got my hair tie and my mitt. So, she puts it on like that. Okay. Okay, it's coming out. It's not working very well. Okay, this is a bit hard. It's coming in and out, it's not really working. I don't have someone to tear my back. So I'm gonna get rid of this because it was a great idea, but execution was not there. A little birdie actually told me Bondi came out with a bit, something a bit easier, a back applicator. So we're gonna switch this out and try this bad boy. I'm just gonna try a little bit to start with and move my hair out of the way. I always get tan in my hair. My hairdresser gets really angry at me. So I've clipped it up. I'm gonna go in with this end and start applying. This is a lot sturdier. And it's so handy if you don't have someone with you. Okay, we powered through two. We've got one more to go. I'm a bit scared. She's contouring. Oh my God, it looks so good. I've actually seen this and I haven't tried it. Usually I'm the first to jump on TikTok trends. I haven't done this and I actually hate wearing makeup. I don't like how it feels in my skin. So if I can avoid it at all costs, I will. So I'm gonna try this and then I'm literally never gonna wear makeup again. I've got natural contour. Okay, we're gonna try out this hack. I'm super excited. I feel like this will give me like a nice structured look and really emphasize the cheek and jaw, which we love. I'm gonna go in, I've got a bit of the one hour face mist on my mitt already. I'm a bit scared, but if anything goes wrong, we'll just use the Bondi brush to blend it out. I'm just gonna hold my hair back. We don't want it ruining the blonde, but I'm gonna go in and do the three and really make sure to blend it out. And then go in with my brush. Oh my God, this is making my jaw look really good. I love that, it's like natural contour. Oh my God, that made it really easy to blend. So cute. Okay, that was a lot. Let's review. I'm honestly a fan of all of them. My favorite was probably the hand one because 
I'm not gonna lie, my hands are looking pretty flawless. But yeah, the brush works so well. This brush honestly does wonders. Like you can use it for so many things. Also use it for the little contour hack, which I love. So cool. I swear I'm gonna do this every week and you'll never see me wear, wear makeup again. But yeah, I love this brush, so versatile. We also had the little back hack. We tried it. It didn't succeed, but that's okay because we have this handy little back applicator from Bondi anyway. So much easier. We tried the hack. I couldn't make it work, but this made it so much easier and a little streak-free back application. So we're gonna let all these hacks, face contour, hands, everything develop and marinate for a few hours. And I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow when it's all ready to go. Hi friends, I'm back, it's the next day. My tan has been rinsed off. It's 24 hours later and it's looking nice and bronze, which we love. I'm gonna talk through the hacks and evaluate which ones worked and which ones didn't. So first up, we had the hand hack with the moisturizer and the brush. This works so well, doing my hands always stresses me out. And to be honest, I'm a bit lazy when it comes to hands, but the moisturizer worked really well. It's nice and thick, but um, isn't sticky, which was really good. And the Bondi Sands brush is like literally a massage. It made it so easy. This one was with the hack and this one was without. And I feel like this hand looks a lot more airbrushed. So I'm definitely gonna be adding this to my routine. Next up, we tried the funky make our own DIY back applicator. Didn't work in our favor, but then we went in with the Bondi Sands back applicator and it made it so much easier. Yeah, this worked really well. If you don't have someone there to tan your back, really good to invest in this. Next up, we had the face contour. I've seen this everywhere, as I talked about before, but never actually got around to trying it, and I'm so glad I did. I woke up this morning, and you can see, like, under my makeup as well, I had the nicest, like, glow going on. It just looked amazing. I'm gonna do this all the time and literally never have to wear makeup, but this worked really well. It gave me, like, a really structured look rather than just, like, tanning my whole face. But this is super cool, and I feel like it adds, like, more bronze under your makeup as well, so I recommend doing this. It worked really well. So, in conclusion, I think my favorite hack was probably the face contour. It made me feel really structured and cute, and it was super fun to do as well, and it was really nice with the Bondi brush to blend it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below which hack you'll be trying, and also any other hacks I should try. I'm always down to adding new things to my routine, so let me know what you guys do. Thank you so much for watching, and subscribe to see more videos I'm doing on the Bondi channel.